me, Zoe, and welcome back to my channel. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, as well as sign up for Fetch with my link down below. But today I have my semi-annual sale haul number nine, I believe. Now there will be a number 10, probably because I am going to be going back to the city um, today after I'm done filming this. And I'll probably get to go shopping again. So there probably will be a number 10, which is insane. But a lot of the stuff, uh, the bulk of what I was, what I bought so far has been a gift. So it's like half and half pretty much. But yeah, I did pick up quite a few items in this haul, quite a few of the newer collections, um, the newer semi annual sale collections. And I did actually smell the Among the Clouds perfume. And we'll get to that. So yes, let's go ahead and get started. So I do want to go over my Among the Clouds like experience first. I went to the mall store, which is this haul, and they had the Among the Clouds perfume out. They did not have any of the other body care out, like the Fresh Coconut Cotton Indigo Dreams, um, some blooms and suede and cloud nine they didn't have any of that stuff out yet but they did have the among the clouds body care out on the wall like on the, the sidewall and yeah i did smell it i wasn't impressed um i believe the notes are like i don't know what the notes are but anyways it smelled like a very citrusy like berry fragrance in my opinion it, the perfume i smelled the perfume i spread on my arm and i smelled it in my opinion it smelled like if they mixed whipped berry meringue Cotton King Clouds slash Burwak Taffy, those are all the three pretty much the same sense. They mixed it with like a raspberry tangerine. That's what it smelled like in my opinion. So yeah, imagine Burwak Taffy, Cotton King Clouds mixed with raspberry tangerine. That's what it smelled like in my opinion. But the but the the citrus note was super strong and super loud and not very pleasant. So honestly, I'm going to have to try out the lotion or something to see how it is on my skin. Or when I go back there again today, I'll try it out on my actual arm and not on my on my jacket um because it wasn't impressive at all i didn't really like it um and honestly i wouldn't pay that much for the mist and you can't use a reward to get those body care items except for like the lotion the shower gel so yes we'll see although i do want to say i do really really want um the i don't know what it's called there's the new body care it's the same collection of cloud and nine um it was the berry one i don't know if, or cotton I don't know it's cloud something anyways the pink like marbled thing that wasn't that was in the collection previously with um cloud nine I really want that one I think I have one of those left but it's like a coconut berry um musk kind of scent it's such a good scent I've used it up already so yeah I really want that one although it's $18.95 for the mist which like Beth and Ricks, brands that sell full-on perfumes that last eight hours for like 20 bucks like you can't be going to your mist 20 bucks anyways let's go ahead and get started so the first thing I picked up was a singular body cream as you know I don't really enjoy the white creams as much well sorry it's not only the fact that they go bad faster I just don't like the formula as much and this is the new one um these are the new one that have aloe and hyaluronic acid as well so this is the pearberry body cream I have previously had the pearberry scent in a lotion and I yeah it was a lotion and I used that up and I loved it it took me forever to use it up because it was a super old lotion I got it from the outlet a few years ago and yeah and I just love this scent it is really good scent the notes are anju pear wild berries apple blossom golden freesia and blonde woods it does smell a little different than I remember but I might have to sit the cream is um currently like very white if you can't tell but it smells a little different than I remember but I could have just done something wrong. It is a fresh, pear, almost aquatic, watery, like you just wash the pear and then you bit into it kind of scent. It's really nice and I have had this in the past, obviously, like I said, I do really enjoy it. Okay, the next thing I picked up was another part of that collection. This is the Sea Island Shore Fine Fragrance Mist. Um, I have never had this. I've smelled it many times at the outlet because Sea Island Cotton used to be there. And sea Island Shore was out last semi sale in the summer. Um, uh, with their like older packaging with the new name so yeah this is the new packaging I do think it is very pretty um the notes are clean cotton orange blossom blue freesia and ocean musk so so far both these have freesia which is interesting but yeah I'll put this on my skin smell it this is a really nice scent um it's just a clean fresh slightly definitely slightly fruity but in a watery way a very clean fresh aquatic scent for sure so I really do like this one 
I picked that up. I didn't really smell it all that much. I smelled the lotion. I was like, okay, I'll buy it. Okay, the next thing is a backup. I did pick up a backup for my pink lily and bamboo um, fine fragrance mist. I really do like this scent a lot. And I do think this is a better scent than the pink lily and raspberry scent that pre previously came out in this exact same packaging um, like two years ago in the summer. So it's just, it's a nice fresh floral. And I do think this will pair really well with my Kim Kardashian Fleur Fatale perfume because they're very similar in scent composition as far as I can smell. So yeah, I am very happy to have this. The notes are wild lily petals, bamboo leaf, pink ginger, and fresh vegan sauna wood. I do get a hint of like a pink ginger, not like a normal ginger, but more just like a fresh aromatic kind of smell, but it smells really good. And I have one right there. So obviously I have gotten a second one now. If I end up not liking the first one, I can always just take this back because I'm keeping my receipts now. Okay, the next thing I got is something I haven't had for a few years, actually. This is Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin. Um, notes of heirloom pumpkin, almond cinnamon, ginger snap, and whipped vanilla. I had this about two years ago and I did use it up and I liked it. And currently I have Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin in the old packaging in the Aquatic Cream. Not from this fall, but from the fall before that. So I need to use it up soon. Probably use it up um, in the next coming months. It's just a nice cold weather kind of scent, but it smells good. It, it really does smell like an air freshener in the best way possible. Like it's a nice pumpkin air freshener. That cinnamon, that hint of that ginger snap, it's such a really good scent, in my opinion. And yeah, I do have the body cream to match with that. So now I have a mist as well. The next thing I got is the matching lotion to Sea Island Shore. Again, a packaging very cute. Notes are clean cotton, orange blossom, blue freesia, and ocean musk. Open this up. Um, I think this one definitely smells not as strong and a little more on the freesia and less on like the aquatic notes. So yeah, but I got that and they just look so pretty together. So yeah. Okay. And then next to match with the body cream, I did get a pear berry. And fragrance mist. Again, the notes are Anjou pear, wild berries, apple blossom, golden freesia, and blonde woods. That's what they look like together. I personally think the lotions look nicer than the body creams. The body creams look especially old school in my opinion, but yeah, we'll try this one out as well. On the underside of this hand. Yeah, and on my arm, I'm definitely getting more of a sweet, like juicy pear. And I am getting a hint of like that, somebody's described it as a hint of like a melon note, and I'm get, I am getting that. But not in like a cucumber melon way, it's like a soft, juicy kind of melon way, but with a yummy fresh pear. Okay, next thing I got is something I also recently used up this fall, um, but I got the new packaging, and this is Starlit Night. And unfortunately, it's 1750, so it came out to $4.37, I believe. Um... But yeah, notes on this one are Snowberry, Minna Iris, and Sensual Agarwood. I think, I believe Agarwood is also called Oud. Uh, I feel like some fragrances have that in parentheses that's also called Oud. I do actually like the scent, I think that's not it, the scent of Oud overall. So yeah, I did get this one. I had this previously and I used it up. It's just a nice perfumey, soft kind of, it's a soft, creamy, perfumey scent. Um, definitely a strong one, but it's still kind of soft and creamy, so that's what I do like a lot. And the last two things are in the same scent. And these are both sun ripened raspberry. The notes on this are sun, sun ripened raspberries, strawberry leaves, and sugar crystals. So, yeah, again, very pretty old school packaging, but a little more modern with like a nicer font and stuff. So, yeah. And I'm going to put it on my arm because I don't think the, um, the lotion is really giving me the best look into the fragrance. So, yeah. They did not actually have the shower gels for like any of those scents. It's, yeah, I don't think so, but I don't want the shower draws. I don't want the shower draws anyways, so. Yeah, this one's really good. It is, like, almost a fakey raspberry, but it's kind of like a powdery raspberry. Definitely, if you ever smelled the strawberry extract body wash, on my skin, that is what this is smelling like. It's smelling like that strawberry extract body wash kind of scent with a hint of raspberry. That's really what it's smelling like. So, um, yeah, it smells very similar to that, which is crazy, so. Yeah, that was everything I got for haul number nine. Stay tuned for haul number 10, as well as my everything about SAS, which is gonna be massive. So yeah, thank you guys all so much for watching. I'll see you later. Bye.